What is going on guys? Mindmel here. We are back playing some Market Survival Evolved on the Crystal Isles supporter server. Oh yeah. And today we are back with the Kibble Laboratory. If you guys checked out the first episode of the Kibble Laboratory, thank you so much for checking it out. Thank you so much for the support on the first video. Really means a lot. Smashing the like button and leaving me a comment really makes a difference in the way the video does and everything. So thank you so much for the support on the first video. If you haven't seen the first video going over the basic kibble, I will link it here. And uh, we'll also link it down in the description as well. Alright guys, so today, what are we getting into today? What are we doing? What are we doing here, uh, Orangelo? Orangelo, what's going on, buddy? All right, we are back at the Kibble Lab, and today we are going to be checking out Simple Kibble. How you make the, the Simple Kibble, go over the recipe. We're going to take a look at the dinos that uh, produce the Simple Kibble, and which is a small egg. And then we'll also take a look at the dinos that perform the simple kibble that's right we have a new area and that area is going to show you all the dinos that prefer that new kibble so let's get into it oh yeah also guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to smash that like button don't forget to subscribe if you want more content and don't forget to share the video also you know share it out with your friends if you enjoyed the video and it's helpful to you Make sure you share it out. It really helps me out. All right, guys, let's get into it. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that's weird. All right, now we're back in the lab with Siegfried and Fritz. They've been doing their laboratory stuff, you know, uh, you know, making concoctions and learning the recipes, figuring stuff out. And this is what we have discovered. These dinosaurs over here, let's go check out the area. Let's see. We have the extra small eggs. And that was from the last episode. Now we have moved on to the small eggs. So let's open up these doors and get into the creatures, guys. The creatures this time are... Oh my gosh, my cat is sitting in front of my keyboard and he's messing everything up. Uh, Kenobi, stop licking the keyboard, please. Compies produce a small egg. These creatures produce small eggs, which is required for your simple kibble. So, an Archaeopteryx, I don't know if I said that right, uh, Dimorphodons, a Gallimimus, which seems really weird, an Ichthyornis, an Iguanodon. A Microraptor, as well as a Morellatops, Oviraptors, Packies. Sorry, these guys are kind of sunk into the floor a little bit. Uh, you'll probably see that as well over in the other area. That some of them have sunken down, but I can't really do too much without a lot of uh, finagling and reconfiguring of the dinos. Uh, Pegomastax, Pteranodon and the Triceratops. Now, with this new kibble system, you don't have to have all these creatures like I have. Oh, and the raptor. Don't forget the raptor too. The raptor's in with the uh, small eggs. Um, now, like I was gonna say, you can tame just one of these things. Like I would say maybe tame like a Pegomastex and then you're done. You're gonna be producing small eggs. Now. Uh, don't be like me and have a male Pegomastix. You want to have a female Pegomastix that's probably going to produce eggs for you a little bit better than the male is. But, uh, you know, when you're built, when you're setting up your kibble farm, you're going to be able to have one of each creature type. So you could easily tame something like a Dimorphodon, maybe uh, like a Compi, or maybe a Raptor. I mean, it might be a little bit more difficult. A Pteranodon. But like I said, a Pegomastix would work for your small eggs. Now, we are going to go over to the new area and we're going to check out which dinosaurs prefer these small egg kibbles. It's called your basic kibble. I'm sorry, it's called your simple kibble. Alright, so let me run out over here. 
we are going to jump on Orangelo and I will meet you guys over there. All right, guys, welcome to our new area. This is the holding cell for all of our creatures and what they prefer. There are um, all these different groups. This is the basic group from last video. So we got like our Dilo and our uh, Dodos and Kairukus and stuff like that. But what we're going to look at is the simple. So let me pull up the list here. And it starts over here with the Aranio. Yeah, that's right, the spider. And I apologize that these guys are kind of sunken down, but you know what? I, I left the area and when I came back, they are over water, so they have kind of sunk it down because they're just on ceilings, which really, really is unfortunate because I wanted to make a awesome, awesome video showing you guys, but some of them are really sunken down. But there's not much I can do right now. Um, then we have the Archeoptics, the Copy, Compy, the Copy, the Compy, the Dimorphodon, the uh, Diplocalus. We have the Gallimamus. We have the Giant Bee. We've got the Ichthyornis. And then we've got the Iguanodon, the Megloceros, and this is supposed to be, this is supposed to be a Morellatops. Guys, just uh, pretend that this is a Morellatops right here and not just like the top of a Morellatops. It's, it's the top of the Morellatops, if you know what I'm saying. And then we have the Packy, the Pegomastix, the Raptor, and we got the Triceratops. We got just the tops of the Triceratops. And then we also have the Onic. And those are all the creatures that are going to prefer this simple kibble, which is made from a small egg. So now we're going to go back over to the laboratory and we're going to show you how to make those uh, kibbles. Whoa, that was really weird. All right, guys, we are back at the Kibble Laboratory. We're going to run in here. We're going to say hi to Siegfried and Fritz. You guys doing all right in here? You guys got enough to eat and everything, enough to drink? I mean, I know it's kind of stuffy in those masks, but it's very, you know, it's very important to be wearing those those masks because for, it's for your safety, really. You know, you got to protect your eyes. You got to protect the, uh, the, uh, uh, you know the, the nasal passages and stuff you guys got Got some nasal passages if I've ever seen ones, but uh, Siegfried and Ritz are doing a hell Fritz I said Fritz Siegfried and Fritz. I said Fritz don't get cranky with me I said Fritz you guys are doing a hell of a job and uh, Maybe I'll give you guys some like golden kibble or something later. I don't know what you guys want anymore anyways <laughs> we are going to head into oh we got uh one of their friends up top here he's uh he's our lookout man just in case anything uh happens with the uh you know we're well this is a secret operation here in the laboratory and if anything goes down we're gonna we're gonna know about it because we've got uh we've got gerald up there and he's he's gonna take care of stuff for us oh it's gonna start raining oh boy well we better act quick here Let's go ahead and get a quick little drink, and uh, and we're gonna get into the kibble. Let's see. We're gonna start over here. Let's turn on our HUD. We're gonna go to the um, what is this thing? The cu the cooker, right? The industrial cooker. There we go. All right. So here is your recipe: five fiber, five mayo berries two carrots, two cooked, or one cooked fish, and one small egg. So let's go ahead and grab a small egg. We're gonna grab a compi egg out of our fridge here. And then we are going to place that in. We've already got our fiber. So let's use our pull system here. This is an S plus pull system. I could run back and forth to the fridge, but I don't think you guys wanna want to see me doing that so I'm just gonna pull the stuff in here we need five fiber we already have that we want mayo berries we get a whole mess of mayo berries uh, let's get five of those bad boys 
And then we need two rock carrots. Two of those. Uh, we want cooked, I typed in one. We want uh, a cooked fish. Let's get one of those bad boys. And we have our egg. And bam, look, we already have our simple kibble. It's just that fast and easy, especially when you're using the industrial cooker. It's gonna take you about 30 seconds in your normal cooking pot, but if you use that recipe, and I'll put the recipe up on the screen, if you use that recipe, that will get you a simple kibble, and that is gonna tame all of those creatures that we went through and showed you just a minute ago. I'm gonna add that to our list. And this, we have some other kibble in here that we've been testing with. But yeah, guys, um, that is pretty much it on how you make your simple kibble. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys check out the Discord. Check out the Twitter. Uh, check me out on twitch.tv slash mindmeltgaming. We built the whole new area on stream. So yeah, guys, make sure you jump over there. Follow me on Twitch and we'll hang out and have a good time. And we'll see everybody in the next one on Mind Melt Gaming. Oh yeah.